is our strength. She'll be back. Rest now. Keep an eye on her. Is she sick? <laughs> it's Aloy, isn't it? Walk with me. I am Ateka, commander of the Lowland clan. The girl, Zella, was poisoned by the blood choke. For months, it has polluted our waters, depriving us of food and clean drink. We've learned to live with it as best we can. But recently, without explanation, the filth cleared from much of the lowland. Yet one river still runs red, like a split vein from a rotted corpse. So the water here is still poisoned? Exactly. I sent my best squad to find its source, led by Zella's mother. They failed to report back. Akaro told me how you dropped part of the throne on Magala at the Cool Root. Saved his life. So lend me your strength. Together we can find my squad and the source of the poison. Sounds like you know Hikaru pretty well. He was my commander before he was my chief. I had served in his squad since we were bare-armed youths. Back then, he was a merciless warlord. Determined to destroy any enemy of the Lowland clan. I was with him the day he took the grove. Stood guard outside as he claimed the throne within. He entered a conqueror. But returned with the ambition of ending the constant bloodshed between the clans. Because he saw Faraday's message? Yes. That vision changed him, gave him new purpose. He became our first chief, ruler of all Tanakh, and dedicated the tribe to fighting machines instead of each other. If you're so close with Hikaru, why aren't you a marshal? I wanted to serve as one, but... Makaro needed someone he could trust to lead his former clan. Maintaining control of the desert and sky clans is difficult enough for him. But the title wasn't handed to me. I fought for the honor as our rights demand. Five days of scars and blood. By the last sunset, I stood alone. The new commander. Close to 20 years have passed since. This blood choke. Is that what you call the red algae? Yes. A couple years ago, it was only a thin streak of red in the river. It grew over time. Until it was a constant poison. It sickens those who drink the polluted water, kill the fish we used to catch. But a while ago, unexplainably, the rivers began to clear. All except for one. Because of it, my people continue to waste away, weakening the clan. I'll help you find your missing squad. Good. I'm heading out now. The longer the blood choke remains, the longer my people suffer. We'll follow the Red River. The squad would have done the same. Might be able to pick up some sign of them. You ready? Let's head out. We'll start at the mouth of the Red River. Welcome. This way. For months, I watched as the strongest warrior and the smallest child alike fell ill from the blood choke. When the other rivers cleared, it seemed like the tide had finally turned. I see those hopes dashed. Hey, we'll get to the bottom of this. We must. There's the mouth of the river. We follow it upstream, we find the source of the poison. And hopefully... The squad. I'll follow your lead.
machine. It was taken down recently. Machines couldn't have been brought down easily. And there's blood. Someone barely walked away from this fight. The squad must have pushed on. Let's go up the river. It sounds like fighting. The squad could be in trouble. The Nox soldiers. That's the squad. We have to bring those machines down. Same way, following. Gather round. Commander, and the Chief's champion. Your help came just in time. Aloy, good fighting. Hateka, these weren't ordinary machines. They were overridden by rebels. Regala. Another poison to contend with. How did this start? We fought our way up the river to here. And then... We found that. We advanced to investigate. We had just started the climb when these machines attacked. Seemed like they were on patrol. A pile of dead machines, a poison river, and the Gala's rebels. That can't be a coincidence. I agree. Rest, and then head back to Thornmarsh. Little Zella is waiting for you. Aloy and I will take it from here. Yes, Commander. If there are rebels up there, it could be a trap. We'll fight our way through regardless. You with me? Let's find a way up. On your lead, Aloy. It's a lot of dead machines. Normally, fresh water would be gushing over the edge. No. Up this way. It looks like we'll have to climb up the falls. Right through the blood truck. Let's do it. <sighs> this water smells like rot. Try living with it. Damn, filth all over my hands. Just don't let go. Don't oh, have to tell me twice. Holds. 
So many dead machines. How? Emma. I'm okay. Hear that? It sounds like a machine. Wait! We're exposed here. It hasn't seen us. Oh, okay. I think we're clear. We're gonna have to fight that thing, aren't we? Some kind of rebel camp. So many machines. Butchered. There's fresh water coming from those falls. That dam must be blocking it. We'll have to take out the rebels first before we can deal with it. Two against many. Look All alive, for the soldiers. lowland. Keep an eye out for machines or lowland. Thought the lowlanders would have come looking for this place by now. Guess the red poisons made them weak. I'll have your tongue, scab. Easy, attacker.
wish another machine would show up. Give the fire girl something to fight. Oh. Now this will do some damage. Puh. Let the listeners come. Oh, I'll never get used to this stench. Thank you. 
the last one. What were the rebels doing? Let's find out. Have a look around. I thought I saw something over by the dam. I'll go check it out. Some machine lore. Well, that explains all these machines. But why put it here? My focus might show me more. The Rebels had a large operation here. There has to be something else that'll tell us what was going on. I thought I saw some equipment over by the falls. It's a message from one of the sons of Prometheus. It says the rebels were about to leave, but decided to guard the dam after the water started to clear. They saw an opportunity and seized it. I thought I saw some equipment on the cliffs near the falls. One hit from this thing could do a lot of damage. 
There's one of these at the grove, in the arena. To put down machines. I'll wait here. Machine scrap and broken corruptor components. Used for overrides. Were the rebels testing them here? So all these dead machines are what? Failures? I think maybe. Spineless cowards. Poisoning us until we waste away. The dam. Can you break it? I'll take a look. I should scan the dam. Might show me a weak point. There's an explosive sack from a machine inside the dam. One hit could blow the whole thing up. I just need to find a way to expose it. There's the sack. It's gonna take a powerful shot to blow it up. And I can't do both at once. The ballista. Hey, Ateka. Can you get up there? Fire a bolt while I hold this thing open? A rebel weapon to destroy a rebel dam. I'm on it. Ready when you are. Hope this works. Hold it. <laughs> nice flying. Ha ha. We did it. Ateka? It's gone. After all this time, we're finally free of the poisoned waters. Thank you, Aloy. I must return to Thorn Marsh. Meet me there when you can. You deserve a proper reward. There's Thornmarsh. The rebels must have been spying on them. Might be a nice glide down. Looks like the water's cleared up around here. I should find a Tekka. Your enemy is... You've earned our trust. Anyone up for a game of Machine Strike? Aloy, I was just recounting your deeds at the dam. Our deeds. We did it together. True enough. Look around. Thornmarsh is free of the blood choke. We don't have to live in fear of the poison. It feels like for the first time in months, we can wash our wounds with clean water. And how are you feeling, Zella? Ready to hunt. <laughs> Not yet, <laughs> little warrior. I promised you a reward, equal to your deeds. I cannot think of anything more fitting than this. Thank you. 
Wherever your travels take you, Aloy. May you always fly on the wings of the Ten. Machine strike anyone? Gramps always said, fortune favors the bold and bored. So, here I am. They hide all kinds of Everything okay there, Porgif? Ah! My steel flame friend! Behold! Oh, your lockbox. The one I found in the tunnel. Just the one! It was bequeathed to me when my dear Ma passed. Never could get the damn thing open, but the lock must have broken off when the rock breaker attacked. Haven't seen its contents at long last. I want Marcia to have it. My sister. She could use it more than me. Hold on. If it was given to you, why couldn't you get it open? I lost the key. You know how it is with small objects, big hands. Not that you know how it is exactly. I mean, your hands are dainty, of course. No, not dainty. <laughs> well forged. That's it. Poor Guff. All right, I stole the box. It was supposed to go to Marsa, but I just wanted something of my ma's to remember her by. So the box rightfully belongs to your sister, and now you want to return it. What was inside that made you change your mind? Nothing. I just thought she'd want it back. She and my ma were close. Me, well, guess you could say I was always the stray spark. All right, Porgif. Sounds like you want me to give this box to your sister. Where is she? That is a good question. I know she was working in Chain Scrape last. Huh. I have a friend there. I could ask her. Ha <laughs> ha! Well fought and well connected. If I'm in the area, I will try to find your sister. At least to hear her side of the story. Okay. Well, if you see Marsha, tell her. I still remember the flying cat. I bet Petra would know where I can find Marissa. I should pay her a visit the next time I'm in Chainscrape. Seats always open. Come for another round. Hey, I'm looking for an Osram named Marsa. She might be working here in Chainscrape. Do you know her? Marsa? <laughs> yeah, of course. Tough gal. Puts her back into her work. Not like the drunken louts around here. Why are you looking for her? I met her brother out west. 
He asked me to return a family heirloom to her. Huh. I didn't know Marsa had a brother. Anyway, last I heard, she was doing a job out by those old Karja signal towers. Northeast to here. Thanks. Hmm. Ostrom family squabbles ain't pretty. Best of luck wading into that muck. Has Talland been giving the refugees any trouble? Nah. His shop got closed down not long after Olven got the boot. So, he cleared out of town. Took his goons with him, too. Good riddance, I say. The concession decree Olven wanted, what was it exactly? And how would it have helped him? Big ol' pig diddle, that's what. A writ that would have put all Osram claims in the Daunt under Osram law, even though they're on Karja land. It would have meant that any existing ore, stone, and timber claims couldn't be revoked by the Karja. No more risk, no more hesitation for investors back in the claim to pour in the shards and expand their business. And since Olven had a stake in all those claims, it would have made him richer than a scrapper in a junk heap. Not to mention Chain Scrape would have become an Osram municipality, so he could have bought enough votes to call himself an elder man. <sighs> He's a sly old badger, I'll give him that. Almost got away with it, too. I gotta go, Petra. That you do. I'll keep the seat warm for you. Petra said Port of Sister should be working around here. I have a feeling she won't be thrilled to hear from her brother. But at least she'll get her lockbox back. One of these days, I gotta upgrade my tools. Marsa? Yeah? What's it to... Oh! The Norman? How do you know my name? I, uh, met your brother, Porgif, out west. He asked me to give you this. Mama's lockbox. That miserable chuff stole this from me. By the forge, he broke the lock, too. Uh, actually, that was from a rock breaker. Oh. So he's dead, then? No. Uh, after he saw what was inside, he wanted you to have it. Oh. Then I guess guilt finally caught up with him. Let's see here. A jewel. Surprise he didn't pocket it for himself. And a letter. It's from my ma. Her last wish was that I make amends with Porgov. That doesn't make sense. Porgov caused her all the family. So much grief. Always running off to chase easy shards instead of helping dad at the forge. Why would I want him back in my life? If Porgif read that letter, then maybe he wants to make amends, too. He also asked me to tell you that he remembers the flying keg. <laughs> that bug. When we were kids, we used to grab a metal panel and slide down this big hill. But one day, Porgif got the idea to use an old keg. He climbed inside and off he went. Only, he didn't stop at the bottom of the hill. That keg kept rolling with Porgov still inside, right off a ledge. You'd think the keg sprouted wings the way it soared. Then splash, right into the lake. Thought he drowned for sure. But he lugged himself out onto the shore and shouted, again! Sounds like a good memory. <laughs> think that might be the only time I can remember us not fighting. Just lying there by the lake, laughing till it hurt to breathe. When you met my brother, did he look okay? 
As well as you can expect for someone out in the middle of the desert. You could see for yourself? Nah. I mean, I heard some folks are headed out that way, but... I don't know. I'll think about it. Thank you for bringing me this. Here, for your troubles. Thank you. If you decide to go, you'll find your brother at a place called Camp Nowhere. Of course he'd end up nowhere. 